Hey guys, this is Matt with Ray Allen Manufacturing. We're here today to talk about the Swiss seat attachment for the Icon in the Icon Air. Um, Swiss seat attachment it attaches to three points. This point right here, this point on this side, and that point on that side. Um, I'm not, uh, in a different video we're going to show you how to attach everything, but I just wanted to go over kind of what comes with it. You get this awesome little 4x4 four four, uh, Velcro bag. You can put this kind of on the harness wherever you want. Um, once you attach, the, the female um, field performance ITW buckles on, like I'm gonna show you in the other video. The middle one goes on the, the middle part right here, and then these fully adjust to the different size. Um, there's two sliders on it, and it makes it to where that's not gonna move. Um, and uh, so one goes back behind the leg on one side of the tail underneath, and it clips on that side, and the other one does the exact thing on the other side of the tail behind the leg to that side. Um, it's pretty simple, but I want to make sure that you guys know how to um, put these on, make sure that they're secure because definitely for repelling, these need to make sure that they stay on there. So it's pretty simple. There's three attachment points on the harness. If you look at the IDW um, field maintenance buckle, there's a slit on one side and a slit on the other. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to put the one slit on the back or the front, wherever you want to start, put that on one side. Then you're gonna slide it all the way to the top, and then you're gonna grab this loop, put it in, slide it in on that side, and you're going to have to make sure and kind of maneuver the molly around it, and you wanna make sure that it's nice and secure inside and it's not coming out, okay? You don't want it to pull out. Obviously, if you're repelling, you want it to look like that to where it's covered on both sides. Then you're gonna to move to the top loop. This is usually the hardest one to get in. Um, you're going to either start with the front or the back. I like starting with the back part. Make sure that's in and that's fully encased on both sides. Then you're gonna take the other side, put the loop in, pull it, kind of maneuver it a little bit, pull it forward. Then it's gonna be really locked in there. It's not gonna slide and move around. Make sure there that's where it should be. Then you're gonna go over to the other side and you're gonna start with the back put it in, slide it around, and you're gonna make sure that's there, pull all the way to the back, put this, slide it in, it should be real snug, that's the whole point. It's not easy to get in there, gotta maneuver the molly around it, make sure that it's fully on both sides, it's not moving around, and it's nice and secure. Once it's nice and secure, you're gonna have point one, point two, and then point three on there, and once you have all three of those points, you're, uh, you're gonna be pretty good to go, connecting the Swiss seat around the back legs, up and around into these three connecting points. Um, it sits very nice and comfortable behind the dog's legs, not very heavy. Um, remember that the Swiss seat is there, so you know this is gonna take the brunt of the weight, and this is only just so they don't slide out the back. So um, if you're doing repelling, drop in anything like that a swiss seat attachment is very very good idea and um, you guys can find the swiss seat at rayallen.com thank you guys for tuning in today